There are many smartphones on the market that journalists and others can use to record, edit and share recordings. In this video, I'm going to show you a number of tips that could help make those recordings look and sound better. Here at the BBC, many people are using iPhones. And while a lot of the advice in this video applies to those phones specifically, many of the tips apply regardless of the phone you're using. So whether you're on Android, a Windows phone or an iPhone, this first point is particularly important. It's always wise to go into airplane mode before you start recording. This would stop your phone receiving a phone call. If you were to get one while recording, it'll instantly interrupt you and you may not get a second chance. On the iPhone, the inbuilt microphone for recording audio is on the bottom of the phone to the left of the charging port. Check where the mic is on your device and wherever it is, make sure you keep your fingers clear. The quality of the audio can be affected by many factors, for example where you record and how much background noise there is. But equally, where you hold your phone has a huge bearing too. About four to six inches away from your mouth is normally ideal. Any closer and you risk getting popping, which can be pretty problematic for professional broadcasting. If you're recording outdoors, then a windshield over the end of the microphone can make a huge difference to the quality of your recording. You can improve the audio further by using an external microphone, but you have to have the right kind of adapter. The iPhone's internal audio app, Voice Memos, is fine for simple single track recordings. It's used by many BBC journalists for voice pieces and even track for TV. Press the red button to start recording, tap again to pause and tap once more to carry on recording. Tap the red box and done to finish your recording and then give the recording a title. To listen back to your recording tap the title and then the blue play triangle. There's no limit to how much you can record beyond how much space you have on your device. You can even read a script at the same time as recording. Press the home button and then go to your script in a note for example. The red bar at the top shows that voice memos is still recording. Tap the red bar to return. To share your recording, tap the title and then the box with the forwarding arrow to reveal a number of options. Email is a quick and reliable method, but it's limited to 14 minutes of material. Cloud services like Dropbox can do much longer. BBC journalists can record, edit and send material using the internal only portable news gathering app PNG. Using PNG, you can record, edit and send without any restrictions on duration straight into the BBC's newsroom. BBC journalists are also using a number of third-party apps to record and share their audio. These give more options in the recordings, such as the format, the audio levels, even making and mixing a full audio package. A smartphone has the potential to be a mobile news gathering device in your pocket. Explore, practice and get comfortable with many of these techniques and you'll soon be able to record and share great material.